Finding your way around Germany's culture jungle isn't easy. So our latest series on Arts 21 should help you get oriented. Today we're turning to electronic music. We ask, is techno the new classical? 21 years ago, shortly after the fall of the Berlin Wall, a dynamic new sound was pumping out of derelict factory buildings in the east of the city. Inhibitions were swept away in the newly united city. Techno was booming and resounding across the world. Ravers came flocking to the underground party scene. So is techno set to become part of the musical canon? Or is it history? Is techno today's classical music? The concept of classical music was developed well after the fact. It refers to a particular period in which things were so perfectly balanced, hence classical, almost perfect. Techno was not born of harmony and balance, even if, like classical operas for example, it aimed to entertain. A major difference though is that techno was not actually composed, it evolved out of certain instruments. You know how acid was discovered? DJ Pierre started twiddling the filters on a bass generator and it started going wang, wang, wang. And that was the birth of acid. That plus the drum computer defined that kind of music. It didn't take much. You don't even have to be musical, and that's the difference. Johnny Stieler and Dimitri Hegemann were one of the first East-West joint ventures. Each discovered this new kind of music independently. Once the wall came down, they joined forces to find a venue to host wild, pioneering events. It fascinated me, but I confess I was a bit crazy. I was curious. It was an entirely new experience for me. I was a small-town boy from Westphalia, where 4-4 time was the rule. I didn't understand it. Berlin was raging and raving. The melting pot resulting from reunification rapidly became far more than the sum of its parts. By chance, Stiele and Hegemann found a club location in a derelict department store in the east. There was a staircase leading nowhere. It was fabulous. At the front there was a grill, and the ice-cold air from the basement came out through it. I'd hold my hand over it. You could really feel the place had a special vibe. Lots of people thought that. It was a special place. It was a center of energy. In the basement they found a vault, and they knew at once this was the place for the soundtrack of the era. It was perfect. First, everything that had happened there before, and the people who got to know each other there, all that enthusiasm. And then we came along and found this vault with 1 meter 40 thick walls where you could make as much noise as you want. You could have got away with anything there. When they opened the club Tresor, they created the mothership of European techno and a globally famous pioneer of the new music genre. It's a cult. Techno is a religious activity. You enter a mystical space. That's why it was always dark, with strobe lights and lots of fog. Each person is alone, and in his solitude, enters a trance-like state. I found the music horrifying, teutonic, dull, thudding. I never understood it. I wondered why. What is the point? I went twice. I was the only person not on drugs, and I found it ghastly. But that soon changed. With two other artists, Mark Weiser set up the Rechenzentrum project, post-techno sounds plus visual images. Their first major performance was at the Documenta Art Show in Kassel in 1997. By then, techno was no longer restricted to clubs. It was out of the underground and into the mainstream. Techno is purely functional music. You would not normally listen to it. It was created for a specific space and situation. Electronica emerged out of it. You can enjoy that at home. We would not have been possible without techno. After 15 years, Tresor had to leave its vault. An office block was built on the site. It's still empty. 
Tresor moved to an old power station, but it just wasn't the same. Berlin had become just another big city like so many others. The music has changed. It's become more professionalized, which is a pity, really. Many of the first productions were pretty amateurish. And that gave them a special edge, and that's over. There's nobody around who can do that sort of thing. The spirit's gone. Now there are other spirits. If the wall hadn't fallen, and if there hadn't been so many derelict buildings, if there hadn't been a sense of change and renewal, there may well have been no techno boom. It spawned all kinds of other musical genres. But new dawns don't last forever, or do they? Techno constitutes a distinct style. It developed a distinct musical language. Techno is stylistically pure. It was truly innovative when it first appeared. Certain features make techno techno. It's not heterogeneous or a mix of styles. There's a good chance that it will soon qualify as classical. Vienna has its opera ball. Will Berlin one day host its very own techno ball? No tuxes and evening gowns, just 90s urban club wear. 